ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. One of the outstanding elements in the Beit HaMikdash was the menorah. That was a candelabrum, seven-branch candelabrum. And on Hanukkah, when we commemorate actually the menorah of the Beit HaMikdash, we use eight branches in order to show that it isn't really the menorah of the Beit HaMikdash, and also to commemorate the eight days of the holiday by lighting an additional candle each and every night of the holiday. As I say, in the Beit HaMikdash, the menorah was very important. The Romans realized that when they destroyed the Beit HaMikdash, they took as booty the menorah. And you can see in the Arch of Titus in Rome, there is a pictorial demonstration of what they did, people carrying the menorah. But the menorah that they carried, we see has some kind of rectangular base. That base apparently was done by Herod, a King Herod. Originally, the menorah, according to the Talmud, had really three legs. And you can see pictures of the menorah in some excavations that show you a menorah with three legs, different from what the menorah shown by the Romans, which is the one they found in the Beit HaMikdash at that time, really is. What did you have to do with the menorah? There were two things you had to do. One is called Hatavat Menorah, the preparation of the menorah. You have to clean it, you have to make sure everything is all right. And finally, Hadlakata Menorah, which is the lighting of the menorah. Every morning, the menorah was lit. Who had to do these things? Well, the Kohanim, the priests that served in the Beit HaMikdash. But the Talmud tells us something different. It says the following, you know, Hatavat Menorah, the preparation of the menorah had to be done by a Kohen. Only a Kohen could do that. But the kindling of the menorah, any Kohen could do it. Even somebody who is not a Kohen could really kindle the menorah. Very strange. It seems as if the Talmud, the Jewish tradition, gives greater importance to the preparation of the menorah for the lighting than the actual lighting of the menorah. When you think about it, Many things in life that you do, what is really difficult and what is most important is really the preparation, not the actual action. You go to an exam. You are graded by what you do at that time. But actually, what was more important was the preparation for it. In Yiddish, there is an expression, the depends how you prepare your bed, this is the way you're going to sleep. Preparation in many things are actually fundamental. Many people, many societies, blame external facts for situations that are very difficult, when in reality, it's a question of how they prepare themselves for that moment. Many nations fail to meet their payments. Each and every one of us has these problems monthly with bills that we cannot really make effective because there's a lack of preparation in ourselves. You see many a professional, you go into a physician's office, but you are not conscious many a time of the years of preparation in order to be able to put on that white coat. This is a symbol in many societies that somebody is a physician. So bear in mind, your home reflects really not so much the actions that you take, but the preparation that you have, the time that you have given in order to make sure that you come to a certain conclusion.